Embedded World here, the Genia Tech booth. Yeah. So you are the Embedded World. What are you presenting here? Well, we are first time at Embedded World. Uh, my name is Mike Decker. I'm VP Sales and Marketing. Uh, you may remember, Chabax, we had this wonderful developer board design, which comes off as a spin-off from the Dragon Board, was based on Snapdragon, where customers get enabled with all IOs down to UART and I2C to develop their own solutions easily and fast. So you said UART, I2C, uh, there's, there's Ethernet, and there's a big uh, uh, power plug, right? Yeah, we standardized and industrialized all the ne necessity to have a rapid uh, standard development on that part. This is everything that people need? Yeah, actually on that part is everything is need, but you know, and by learning of this and the customer developing and enveloping their business, there is uh, three kind of operating system we are supporting here. Windows 10, IoT Core, uh, Android, as for sure also Linux. It's fully supported. And once it comes to that designs, let me put that down here. We do the smallest, can you see that? Smallest Snapdragon 410 IoT Windows 10 board in the world. So actually you, you shrink this we into shrink there. We shrink this into this. So what we do, did here, we put everything onto the wireless as it necessary because it's a headless design. Yeah? All accessible uh, IOs. And yeah. uh, is it very uh, is it very advanced board? Are there many layers, or what's going on? Uh, it's it? eight layer board, and it's double packaging. What all is necessary? So it's a headless design. It's Windows 10 IoT 10 Core. So this is really it's running one of the first one. It's running for basically for home applications. We're talking about household appliances. Make things smart. So uh, right here you have a logo that says uh, get ARM solutions for your industry 4.0. Uh, there's fast integration and you have custom design on demand. This is your speciality, right? Yeah, actually therefore we always do this kind of development boards. We move it to that level to the, enable the customer that can take care about it. We serve the customer up to the operating system level and also API level that they concentrate on the application, what they're going to sell themselves. So therefore, with this enabling, customer can do such small designs with our help. So therefore, also we support here from the operating system down <coughs> to the hardware kernel level, everything what is necessary to build such small, headless, high performance devices. here based on Snapdragon 4.10. So maybe some other companies might have a, a spread uh, uh, ecosystem where you yeah. have somebody in the mm -hmm. US and somebody in maybe in India, somebody yeah. in China manufacturing in India the software. Yeah. You do everything. We do everything. We do, as a classical ODM, we do all the design parts from the electrical as far as also from the software technical and also from the mechanical design. So therefore, I just want to highlight to you the learning out of this is that customer also asked for a casing for the Snapdragon design for the 410. So therefore we created our, let's say, uh, DB4 hub, which is uh, one of the nicest designs we ever made. It's so small and so cute. And we put all IOs outside there. Again, everything is standardized from the LAN port to the USB ports to the HDMI, we got a micro SD card in, reader inside <coughs> and for sure OTG USB. This we, we do for just for LAN, wired, but also for sure with the AC Wi-Fi inside <coughs> for Wi-Fi, what is necessary. Cute, right? That's really nice. And this comes from expertise in doing a TV box business, right? Yeah, it comes definitely we doing this TV box business, like OTT. IPTV business a long time. So we have this video expertise, so also video surveillance solutions based on that Qualcomm solution are highly mandatory because the chipset gives you the capabilities to do so. And you've been doing development board for a couple of years. It was development board three? Yeah, we started two years ago with the development board three, which uh, gives an expertise, also an easy entry for customers on the consumer uh, segment 
which also support now already in that version we are shipping it today as all industrial standard as necessary, three operating system, Windows, Android and Linux as well. Starting from that, we move to the developer world for based on the Qualcomm 410. Then we move it to custom designs, also developer board IoT, where we give. Is that similar to the other one? It's similar to the other one, but it's directly managed to for high performance IoT devices. So it can be any kind of household applications for home automations, or even for industrial applications where you can manage your uh, factory yourself. So you're able to uh, to provide faster uh, support, faster time to market, and uh, uh, maybe also a better price, or uh, not necessarily better price, pri but for sure. What we combining is here German engineering and Chinese manufacturing, Chinese engineering on hardware and software level. We're bringing together in pretty fast, rapid prototyping. Usually, customer wait only 14 to. Uh, 21 days to get their prototypes. We talk about working ones, not mock-ups, which just look like good, it's working ones. So again, up to the application level, we do everything for our customers. And because of the free Drino open source GPU that's available on Qualcomm, yep. that's one of the reasons you're working on the Qualcomm, right? You want to be able to enable any yep. Linux people want. Yes. They can easily and open source a GPU. It's very important. That's a very important item you're talking about here. It's really open source. Open source means the full community support you have here. Already developed applications and operating systems. So therefore, for any kind of directions the customer want to go, there's already something done, but also it's open source again. It's sourced back to the community, and the community can use it and uh, get participate from that knowledge.